Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another video. Well, it's time to take those things I've learned over the last little while of gluing uh, various things onto acrylic and put it into a practical application. Uh, you need to make uh, four panels. Uh, I'm going to make one today. These panels are going to go into the large U-shaped pallet area and their purpose is to uh, disguise slash hide the uh, underground filter system that goes up to those planters. And in time, uh, these are going to get covered in moss and plants and all sorts of things and you really aren't going to see uh, them per se but they are going to hide the filter and that's pretty much the purpose of this uh, so what i'm going to do here is first off i'm going to sand up this uh, one sheet here and get it nice and rough and as you've seen in the beginning of this i took a small piece of wood uh, it's, like i said i'm trying to keep these reasonably simple because uh, in time they're going to be uh, unnoticeable really. Uh, so I take a small piece of wood and some rocks, I wash the rocks and they look a little damp at the moment but in after this clip here I took a, a heat gun and uh, blew some hot air on them and uh, dried them up because uh, you have to have first off them uh, dust free and secondly they have to be dry because they won't stick very well to the uh, glue. So this is a really quite straightforward part. Uh, I did remember uh, about halfway through though it's really difficult to see white scratches with a white background, so I peeled off the background for it, and it's much simpler now to uh, see where I need to add a little bit of extra sanding. So this is a little bit of overkill. This is a quarter inch peg in, uh, well, a quarter inch hole in a piece of one eighth. So what I'm gonna do here is, like I said, tap that in, and then I'm gonna weld it in place. So it it's not gonna break. It's more than strong enough to hold this in. Now. I have done uh, several different ways of attaching wood to acrylic. Uh, the one with just using epoxy, uh, once it got soaked, uh, it just popped right off. Now I have used a fishing line into little hooks, uh, the pallet arm I have in the fish room, uh, that's how that's done, and that holds really well. What I'm gonna do here instead is I've drilled a quarter inch hole here, and as you can see, it is a friction fit. But what's gonna happen is soon as the wood gets wet it will swell and that'll grip it even more so basically what's going to happen is it's going to get even harder to move and at this point when i finish getting this in place it is already really difficult to move and again once it's waterlogged i think it's going to grip really nice and solid so all that needs to be done now is to take this over to the bandsaw and trim off a bit of excess now the back plate is not really uh, that necessary to, to uh, trim it down but the peg obviously has to be done to flush i am going to remove uh, the corners that you see that are sticking out because i don't really want them to interfere uh, with the glue up i mean the, attaching the epoxy and then of course putting on the gravel uh, it's not sanded uh, i could obviously rough it up but it's going to provide a little bit of a corner there and again that might just interfere sufficiently and leave me with a little bit of a bald spot so Again, not really terribly important because uh, this is going to be the bottom end of this and it's so easy just to put a little bit more gravel around it and hide anything that you're going to see. And as far as the little peg goes, uh, they're going to have a little, uh, you see that little round nub there? That in time actually won't even be really noticeable because by the time I'm actually done with this, it blends in so well. And again, it, it won't really matter in short order because this is the bottom part here and it's going to be in the gravel. So it won't, uh, you won't even notice it at all. So I'm going to just weld this on. Uh, very quick and easy. Uh, don't have to be too particular about it. Uh, just put enough on to keep it in place and this is never going to come off. So I'm going to let that set for a few seconds and then uh, we get to deciding what we're going to do for uh, the rocks and epoxy so nice and welded on i chose to go with a fairly large rock uh, just because i haven't never really uh, used epoxy to attach something this big i want to see how well it holds uh, again these panels are removable so if i have issues with them i can always uh, pull one out and make another one and replace it so uh, again the reason why i'm doing it this way so this is a really good epoxy i'm actually very happy with how it's holding so far with everything else and it's a simple matter now of uh, mixing up a bunch and smearing enough on, not too much, but enough on that each little pebble will hang on to something. So it'll be attached to the acrylic. But uh, yeah, anyway, this is uh, 
again, nothing really fancy. <laughs> this uh, also is probably, for all intents and purposes, another test. So that's the reason why I'm also just doing one. And also, of course, because I want to have the client look at it and see what they think of it. Because, again, they're the final say in everything, you know, whether or not they like it and whether or not it does the job that uh, I'm designing it for. So between those two things, I want to get this in place, have a look at it, and I will be showing you guys an update of it in place. Uh, it won't be, obviously, on this video because uh, by the time you're actually watching this will be the time, like the next day, I'm going to go in and uh, put this in place and have a look at it. I will record it, and I am going to do more updates on the Palliatarium because there's a bunch more work being done on it, so I need to give you another video for that. The rest of this is just a simple matter of piling on a bunch of rocks. I mean, this is just gravel, different sizes, shapes. Uh, I like the look of it, and it's just a simple matter of sticking enough on here that your fingers don't get stuck in any of the glue, and then just pressing it down to make sure that it is all, well, it's not all going to contact, it, but the bottom parts are going to be uh, firmly immersed in the epoxy. And what I'm going to do is let this set. And it doesn't take very long. Uh, I am going to obviously let it cure overnight before I uh, put it in the tank. Uh, but I am going to show you what it's going to look like uh, shortly. Uh, it only takes about 20 minutes for this to be solid enough to uh, hold everything in place. So, press down firmly. Uh, you notice at the bottom left hand corner I missed a bit of, of spot there. It is at the bottom but I did notice it after I stopped recording and put a little bit of rock there as well so even that's covered. So now it's about to let this cure and we will tip it over and give you a look at it. This is, I see at the bottom left there where I missed a spot. Not a big deal like, but again I saw it and covered it up pretty much after I just did this. So there you can see a couple rocks there now. So this is cured. All I'm going to do is pick it up and put it over a bin and give it a good shake. And that's it. All the loose stuff that isn't got any epoxy on it has come off. And you're left with this. It's, like I said, very straightforward and easy to do. And everything's nice and solid on there. I'm curious to see how long the epoxy is going to hold time-wise. Uh, I've done this many times with glass and uh, silicone, and I've known that last few years, but we'll see how this does. There you go. It is done. I'm going to stick this in the tank tomorrow, or, well, today for you guys, and I'll see what it looks like. I'll give you an update on this hopefully soon, and anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video, and bye for now.